So I am Dead Program, a.k.a. Ron Evans in the real world, but that's not really that important. Technologist for Hire, that part is always very important. At the hybrid group, where we're a bunch of technologists for hire doing software for hardware companies. So I'm here with GopherBot. So GopherBot uh, joined the universe uh, two years ago at GopherCon. And so you can go uh, get the source code and the 3D models to build your own GopherBot. I've also got my Go badge. So we never actually got to introduce this, unfortunately, because the COVID happened right then. But this is a Go-powered badge. So yeah, next time we're all together in person, then uh, we can hack on those together. So those were both made using TinyGo. So if you've been living in a very remote place, you don't know about TinyGo, but it's a Go compiler for small places like microcontrollers and WebAssembly. Yes, you don't need to use Rust for WebAssembly. You can use Go. So let's take the current stats. Over 9,000 stars on GitHub. 495 forks, with the latest dev branch having over 2,400 commits, over 100 contributors. Thank you all so very much for making TinyGo what it is. Over 74 different hardware boards supported and 74 different sensors and displays. And since our last release about three weeks ago, 2.75 commits per day since the last release. So the project's going fast. So let's talk about a couple of quick highlights from that last release. Uh, lots of runtime and standard library support improvements. So, you know, your garden variety Go code will maybe just work now. Um, lots of work done on WebAssembly, uh, especially the WebAssembly systems interface. And we'll see some examples of that. And then Windows, yes, you can actually build a Windows executable with TinyGo now. It's absolutely amazing. So let's take a look at some tiny go out in the real world. So here is a really cool tweet from Matt N, uh, known for the MJPEG package as well as the TF Lite package. So Matt N uh, in Japan is very excited about being able to build Windows executables. And we can see here that the normal Go compiler, about two megabytes in size with tiny go only just under 300K. So also from Japan, Takasago-san, who is a uh, longtime contributor and done lots of cool work in TinyGo, had a really awesome TinyGo workshop recently featuring the Wio terminal from Seed Studio. So that's a very cool workshop contents online. Speaking of WebAssembly, so you can actually use TinyGo with the Envoy proxy, and there is an SDK, which is available from uh, Tetrate Labs, it's the proxy WASM Go SDK, and it works with TinyGo and only TinyGo. Since you can't write WASA, what, WASI applications using the regular Go, just with TinyGo. So check that out. So speaking of more web assembly excitement, so recently the WASM 3 runtime project released the embedded WASM apps, which you can actually compile WebAssembly code and run it on embedded microcontrollers. So it's a different way of achieving the same sort of thing you could do just with regular TinyGo, but supports assembly script, Rust, C++, TinyGo, and Zig. So another awesome place for WebAssembly and TinyGo. So um, the IOTA project, if you're interested in blockchain stuff, recently released support for using TinyGo as the programming language for their smart contracts. So that's pretty interesting. Um, if that, a new space for many people. And then the Astro Project uh, recently, whoop, sorry, jumping ahead of myself here. The Astro Project uh, has got a front end development package uh, compiler that you can compile the WebAssembly using TinyGo. And in fact, their online astro.build forward slash play website uses the TinyGo compiler. Then um, speaking of interesting and cool content, there was a great series that was put together by this blogger, and they wrote a whole series of Learning Go. This particular um, article talked about how to create a Game Boy Advance game in Go using, of course, Tiny Go. Um, so then uh, back to the businessy sort of stuff. The legendary Ray Ozzy's company, Blues Wireless, is using Tiny Go for a bunch of very interesting things. Go check them out at blues.io. Then we've got, oh, I mean, there's so many things. Uh, 
So Tobias Thiel gave a talk recently at Embedded Fest, which is Eastern Europeans' biggest Linux and Embedded conference. So that was a really cool talk. Um, you can check that out on YouTube. Also, Tobias published a book about TinyGo earlier this year. Yes, there is a paper and electronic book for TinyGo. Check that out. So earlier today in Australia, there was the Australia IoT Christmas edition. So yeah, time for the Christmas edition lights from GopherBot. And uh, the, uh, what is his name? Liam Champton gave a talk. And actually, Liam is going to give a lightning talk, I think, tomorrow or the next day about TinyGo. And we've got the suborbital dev uh, recently on the Atmo application server, which is back and go using TinyGo and WebAssembly. So there's going to be a talk by Connor Hicks after this, a full length talk. So check it out. More info at tinygo.org. You can follow us on Twitter at tinygolang. And thank you so very much.